The Anatomy of a Panic Attack How I Learned to Deal with Panic Attacks with the Simple Yoga Madra I'm sitting on my sister's bed one evening and we are watching Rear Unce of New Girl. It's been a productive day. We've just come home from a fantastic workout and I've enjoyed a dinner with my family. When it happens, as usual, coming unannounced, with no real trigger. My chest feels tight and I find it hard to breathe. My heart starts to beat fast and I can't seem to keep up. The walls are closing in on me and I can't see clearly. There's an impending feeling of doom, and just when you think you are going to die, it disappears without a trace. I got divorced in 2015 and moved back home. I wasn't so stressed about my separation but more worried about the judgment from people around me. This is when the panic attacks began. They would creep up on me when I was least prepared. In cabs, in metros, on a lunch date with my mother, and on stage when I was making a presentation. I'm 29 and I've been to physicians and homeopaths, and had every possible test done, MRIs, courts, and even been to counseling sessions. There was nothing physically wrong with me. I have been healthy for as long as I can remember. I don't smoke or drink, I eat my greens, and I work out 4 to 5 times a week. I make sleep a priority and don't really have any vices besides chocolate, coffee, and well, worrying. What caused it? People said it was all in my head. To in an attempt to say goodbye to those attacks, I cut out processed sugar and coffee. I swapped my high intensity interval training for yoga, the lathes and brisk walking. I took more breaks at work to unwind. I was doing pretty well for the most part, but the stressful situation at work would bring about a flare-up. I am no stranger to yoga and meditation, but it wasn't until I visited Shriyas, Bengaluru, that I learned about the pivotal role that mudras play in our health. Put simply, a mudra is a symbolic gesture that is usually performed with the hands. Used extensively in the practice of yoga and meditation, mudras force you to look inward. When I was deep into my yoga and meditation practice and the panic attacks would still come on without warning, my yoga teacher suggested I practice the Upanvayu Madra. I found it easy to perform and it could be done sitting alone or while watching TV or when lying awake in bed. Although my teacher suggested that I sit in lotus pose while performing this madra, I have experienced relief even when I'm not in the ideal position. Many Thapar Shastri, a yoga teacher in Delhi, who calls this mudra a yajic tranquilizer, says, the science of mudra vision works by heightening the nerve impulses to release obstructions in the body. This mudra is especially useful for those who have panic disorders and are fearful, but also very effective for digestive distress. I was a skeptic, not imagining that just holding my fingers a certain way would help me with my anxiety. But I did try it every day for two months and worked my way up from 10 minutes to 15 minutes a day. It's my secret tool before presentations or awkward social situations and even when I'm having a sleepless night.